Hi everyone, Ravonda coming to you from North Carolina today for another water tip. Okay, today I'm going to tell you about, or let's talk about, nail fungus. Do you have fingernail or toenail fungus? Okay, I had a friend one time and I said, okay, we are going to use the 2.5 pH on, if you're willing to do it, let's do an experiment. Let's study it out and test it. So sure enough, the big toe had the fungus on it. And so what you do is you soak a cotton ball with your 2.5 pH water, special water from, you get from your home your unit, your certified medical device that you have, and you get some balloons, some little, small, little, thin little balloons in the bag. They're kind of tight, and you cut the tip of it off, just like, and you're gonna make a little swimmers right on the end of your toe. You put the cotton ball in there, and then you put the little balloon, swimmers cap, and you sleep with that every day for 30 days. Guess what? It worked. His toenail fungus was gone. So, anything you do in life, what do you, what do you want? Do you want to run to the doctor? Is it convenience? Do you want to pay um, you know, pay the doctor a bill, get some medicine, pop a pill. You know, everybody wants a quick fix, you know. So be a little responsible. Do things organically. It's much healthier for the body. Another thing, I had a friend that she said she had a wart. She just sprayed the special water on her, and one day the wart just fell off. So, same thing with age spots, wrinkles. Just be consistent. Anything you do in life to have success, you just got to be consistent. So, stay hydrated, my friends. Be consistent. Drink your water. Remember, half your body weight in ounces a day of water. Be careful what cut water you're drinking. If it's plastic, the plastic has got the um, chemicals in it. The water is hot when it goes in, so those chemicals that are in the plastics are gonna be leached out. Who knows how long it sits in a warehouse? Not good. If you're drinking tap water, reach out to me. I can give you a web link. You can go put your zip code in, and you can see what are the toxins that are in your water that you might be consuming. And if you're not, if you're buying like waters at the grocery store, or even if you think you're buying alkaline water, a lot of the alkaline waters in the stores, they're putting chemicals in them. This is not truly alkaline. This is living water that is electrically charged that creates the alkalinity. More than that though is your hydrogen, your oxygen. It's going to be antioxidant water. That's what you want. You want living water, so it makes a difference. But a lot of people don't think about the water they bathe in. See, our skin is the biggest organ. So if you got chlorine in your water and all those other toxins and arsenics that are in your water, chlorine, really bad, whatever's on your skin, whether it be makeup, any kind of product you're using, the water you bathe in, shower in, it's gonna get into your bloodstream within seconds. So people don't realize what their bathing is. It's just as important as what you're drinking. So there you go. Hope you enjoy that tip today.